Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to be picking a super lock cylinder for you. This is considered high security. They're installed and they come installed with the super lock doors in Israel and all over Europe. Uh, this is a dimple key. It's staggered milling, I suppose I should say. Uh, there's five pins on the right and five pins down the middle. It's kind of like the multi-lock idea, but they're not pins within pins. They're pins the side pins. Um, these cylinders here do have a clutch mechanism in them and it is spring loaded inside here. So if we turn the thumb turn halfway around, we see the gears moving. Uh, when you insert your key from the front, this normal insertion, we're going to push it all the way in and start rotating and what's going to happen while we're rotating is you're going to hear a click and it's going to lock in with the clutch and then we'll be able to operate. There we go, you hear that? And now we're spinning. Um, that's cool in case somebody locks the door halfway from this side, from the inside of the door, and you come up with your key, because who knows, people in your house might be stupid. It happens. Um, so I guess, oh yeah, uh, on the top here, uh, it is a sealed unit. You do have to drill this to get the pins out, and mine is not drilled, um, still sealed, factory sealed, factory keys, and uh, Canadian beer. All right, let's get this fucker open. Bit of false setting in here. And I am quite experienced at picking these because my company deals with a lot of these locks. And I'll probably open it before I finish my beer. <sighs> That's good. We do have some Jada Kiss in the background, and there we go. Uh, that click that you heard is the top pins falling into the open side of my chamber, which isn't a big deal. Um, just push those up and keep rotating. There you go, see? And the cylinder will continue to turn all the way around. And there you go. Uh, the thing about picking these, uh, sometimes when you do catch it right at the beginning, and I didn't do this now because I'm drinking, but when you catch it, you want to push something all the way into the back of the cylinder and engage the clutch. You have to spin all the way around, and it's kind of doing that right now. Um, what I would do in this case, when I come up right before the pins lock back into position, I'll take like my plug spinner, and I'll shove it in here, and I'll whip it around so it won't lock up again, and then we'll engage with all the clutch and everything. But, like I said, I didn't push anything in the very back to engage the clutch in the first place.